Hey, this is Eddie Hill, and I'm going to show you how to make a library uh, item. The first thing you need to do is to have a, um, a site. You need to go into Dreamweaver, and you might have to go to Site, New Site, and tell Dreamweaver where your root folder is, and it'll show all the stuff in your root folder. Next to your Files panel that shows everything in your root folder, there's this Assets panel, and this is where you can make new library elements. You, there's a whole bunch of different assets here, but I'm interested in library elements. These are library elements that I've made for my website here. I'm going to pretend to make a new one, make a new library element. I could call it something like uh, navigation. I'm going to open that up. I'm going to paste in some navigation links that I already made. Um, so here's a list of my links that's going to show up on every page. And you'll notice that they're not styled. I'm going to save that, Command S, and close that up. Now in this page, I'm going to click where I want to insert that list of links. I'll go over here in my Assets panel, click on that Library element, click on this pop-up menu, and go to Insert, which you can't see because it's off-camera, but it says Insert right there, and it inserts those library elements in there. I'm going to save this, Command-S. I'm going to preview it in Safari, and you'll see that my list is styled now with the cascading style sheets that tell my, uh, tell my web page how to look. I'm going to switch back to Dreamweaver now. So even though it looks sort of ugly and plain here, when I insert it in to the page, it takes on the styling that I that I tell it to, to take on with my cascading style sheets. So that's how you insert a library element, how you make one, and how you insert it. So I would insert that on every page, let's say. And then if I make a thousand pages and that's on every page, I can go in here and someday I can say, you know, uh, tables and lists, I really want to move that item down here further in my semester, so now it's going to move down there. And um, I don't like the way this is uh, worded, so I could change this to, um, I could take out GIF here and just have this week be animation. And then when I save that, it will ask me if it can update that list. If I had it on a thousand pages, all those thousand pages would show up here, and I would click OK, and it would go out there close. No, keep going, keep updating there. And it would go out there and it would update that that list on every page. See it changed GIF animation to animation and moved to tables and lists further down the page. So that's the power of a of a library element and how you make one. Thanks for watching. Bye.